Tournament Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 27. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the else if statement. Um, we've talked about go to statements. We've used those where you just select you're in a task and you're just task number two. You have a task that says go to number five if such and such. Um, and you can use those, uh, but else if statements are a better way for most cases. Um, it's not considered good programming practice to overuse go to. Um, so else if statements are the better way to go. And we're going to use that in this profile. This is the task and profile we created so that when we receive a text message, it announces the person who's texting it. And then a pop, as well as a pop up scene that shows the text message and the sender and the name, etc., etc. Um, but let's say we're in our car. When we're in our car, we don't want any of that to happen. Instead, we want uh, uh, we want it to just read the entire text message to us so that we can hear it, um, but not display it because we don't need to be reading while we're in our car. Uh, we want it to just read the entire text message. So uh, what we can do is go over back uh, to our profiles and we're going to create a new profile and we're going to call this 101 car connect and we're going to choose state and then net and then bluetooth connected and then we're going to choose specifically the car connection, so click the little magnifying glass and uh, Sportage, that's my car connection, so I'll click that so uh, when I'm connected to the Sportage we're gonna have a new task new task and we'll call that uh, 101 And uh, well, it's, I didn't give it a name because sometimes my phone is really weird with that. Anyway, we'll rename it later. But uh, we're going to click plus, we're going to click variables, and we're going to say variable set, and we're going to call this uh, car. BT stat and we're going to set that to uh, 1 when it is connected so that's our our action and then we're going to create an exit task Add exit task, new task, one oh one car BT off. And in this we're gonna go variable, variable set. Pick that same variable we just created, car BT stat set to zero. So when we're connected to our car Bluetooth, it sets the uh, variable to one, and when we disconnect, it sets it to zero. So now that we have that set up, we can go in here to our uh, our task that reads our, our uh, messages to us and 
it's uh, pretty simple you can just add in uh, uh, a simple uh, an else if statement to have it after it announces who's texting either read the message or show the scene depending on or Bluetooth uh, if we're connected to Bluetooth. So I'm going to click on show scene, long press, menu, insert action, task, and it's going to be if statement. So if we're going to choose our car BT stat, if it matches one, which we set for it to do anytime it's connected to our car and you'll see everything underneath there has been moved over which means it's underneath this if statement so now we're gonna long press on this and we're gonna insert an action and this one's going to be a task and it's going to say else and if you want to have an else if, if you have several options, so if that variable could be three different things, then you might have an else if and say if that variable matches this, then do these things. But since we only have one, we can just use the uh, else. We don't need an if. So now you see if and then else. Now that you show up under else, nothing is under if yet. But we're going to add that. So I'm going to long press and insert an action. Miscellaneous. Say. And we'll put here's the message. And then variable. And we'll pick the variable for a text body, text body, which is the inf the the message itself. So the way this runs now is if the car BT stat matches one, meaning we're connected to our car's Bluetooth, say the message. Else, meaning if that's not the case, then instead of saying the message show the scene that shows the message and that's the way that you uh, uh, set it up in order to do one or the other so uh, anyway that's how you uh, use the uh, if in the else statement again if we had we only had two possibilities for a variable it's either going to be one or it's going to be zero um, so we have the if it matches one do this else which means if it doesn't match one which would have to be zero do this if we had three possibilities, maybe we had 0, 1, and 2, then this statement would be else if, and we would check the if and put if it matches 2, and then have a set of series, and then we'd add another else, and that would be the last set of series. So that's how uh, uh, the else if statement can be used, um, and it's considered better than... than go to, go to, go to. You could have three go to's in a row up here or two up here that said go to this and then had an, just have an end um, and then go to or go to this. But it's considered better programming to use the else if uh, statements. So when we get a uh, when we get a text message it's gonna randomize the variable. This is all from the previous lesson. Based on that variable it's going to say uh, announce the texture with one of these phrases. Then it's going to get to the if statement. And if the car Bluetooth status is 1, which would have been set at 1 when we connect to our car Bluetooth, then it'll read the entire message. It'll say here's the message, then read the message. But if we're not connected to our Bluetooth, then it's not going to do that. It's going to go to the next else statement and uh, uh, go through all of, uh, it'll go through the three steps here. It'll show the scene and put the picture in the scene. And so uh, that's how you uh, set up your uh, uh, texting uh, profile so that when you're in the car, it reads the text to you 
and doesn't show the picture. Of course, you may want it to show the text as well. That's up to you, and you can set this up, whatever works best for you. But I was using this mainly to demonstrate how you use the if and the else statements within Tasker uh, in a task to uh, select different possibilities of what you want it to do based on what the variable is. So that's it for this lesson. Uh, if you like this lesson, please click that like button up there. Uh, subscribe to my channel or at least the Tasker 101 playlist. But you can check out my channel, lots of Android app reviews product reviews, um, NFC tutorials, and things over there. And uh, share this video with anyone you think might be interested, um, or just put it on your Google Plus or Facebook page if you think you have a lot of people that might be interested. Anyway, that is it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.